हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू डॉक्टर वेट चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर पी आर पटेल प्रोफेसर एंड हेड वेटरनरी मेडिसिन वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन पार्ट वन ऑफ द बोवाइन वायरल डायरिया एंड म्यूकोजल डिजीज बी वी डी एंड एम डी इन दैट द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव ट्राई टू क्लियर वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बी वी डी एंड एम डी दे आर नॉट टू बट दे आर वन बट बिकॉज ऑफ द डिफरेंस इन दर सिंड्रोम प्रीवियसली इट वॉज कंसिडर टू डिजीजेस नाउ इट इज फाउंड दैट बोथ आर कोर्ड बाय सिंगल वायरस so now both are considered as a one disease now we continue here part 2 in this we will study the clinical findings in detail it is a important viral disease of cattle we see here the clinical findings of bbd and md now the concept is very clear the pathological signs and clinical signs of bvd md infection in a cattle depends on two factors remember remember this two factors are very important to understand the disease and how the infection occurs in various stages so these two factors are one factor age of cattle and second is the pregnancy stage of the cattle remember these two factors are very much important age factor and pregnancy with this two factor there are three situations are observed to understand the clinical findings one is the post natal infection in non pregnant cattle so here pregnant non pregnant cattle here the age wise post natal the infection occur after birth so infection occur after birth in non pregnant animal what will happen so there are three situations occur in this part one is acute infection we will see the syndrome in that what is immuno suppression occurs and we study about the venereal infection also the another situation is infection in pregnant cattle in the first one we have seen non pregnant cattle infection after birth and naturally in pregnant cattle infection after birth in this pregnant cattle there is trans placental infection and there is immunological competence of the fetus we will study here the third situation is persistent infection in calves and that is the real symptoms shown by these calves are the mucosal disease infection remain for a long time in calves and manifest the mucosal disease now we study the first situation post natal infection of susceptible non pregnant cattle and they are manifesting acute infection in this we study the symptoms of acute infection the calves receive antibodies against bvd and md in the colostrum as the age of the calf advances 
there is decline of this antibody level and it may remain up to 3 to 8 months of age when there is decline in antibodies the cattle get infection and infection is most common at 8 to 24 months of age before 8 months infection is generally not possible because of cholesterol antibodies the incubation period is 5 to 7 days majority of the cattle shows subclinical infection but few cases shows acute symptoms of bovine viral diarrhea now we continue here of the syndrome of acute infection there is pyrexia rise of body temperature and that is due to viremia virus destroys lymphocyte leukopenia there is sudden drop in the milk production there is oculo nasal discharge here characteristic of BVD is that there is high morbidity but no mortality. In MD it is reverse. In MD low, mortal, low morbidity, high mortality. Again in BVD high, high morbidity but no mortality. In MD it is reverse high mortality but no morbidity remember this thing then animal manifest the mouth ulcers and diarrhea diarrhea of a very shooting diarrhea severe diarrhea explosive in nature and these symptoms are referred as BVD, bovine viral diarrhea. Clinician can see this mouth ulcer and the symptoms of stomatitis, enteritis, symptoms of enteritis, the diarrhea. Animal develop a serum neutralizing antibody and these antibodies persist for a lifelong immunity. Continuing the first situation, postnatal infection of susceptible non-pregnant cattle. In that one situation, we have seen acute infection. Now, in first situation, we go to the second part, that is immunosuppression, suppression of immunity. The virus cause temporary severe immunosuppression initially it is temporary the virus suppresses the interferon production what is interferon interferon is a protein released by animal cells in response to virus which inhibit virus replication so this virus suppresses the interferon and so there is immunosuppression. The another reason of immunosuppression, virus affects lymph lymphocyte function. It affects humoral antibody production and it affects the phagocytosis. And these are the reasons that causes immunosuppression and because of this immunosuppression the cows become susceptible to many respiratory 
and other diseases. So this disease, BBD, because of immunosuppression, it invites other diseases also because of the decreased immunity. The first situation is postnatal infection of susceptible non-pregnant cattle. In that we have seen one situation that is acute infection, second immunosuppression and here third venereal infection. The semen from this persistently infected bull infects the cow during breeding either by use of semen by artificial insemination or by natural service. The bull infects the cow. And if the cow become pregnant, there is early embryonic death and there may be a repeat breeding. Now we go to the second situation. The second situation is infection of susceptible pregnant animal. Here pregnant animal is very important, pregnant cattle. In that first part is the transplacental infection. There is an infection to the fetus through the placenta and important symptom is abortion. Abortion frequently occurs during outbreaks. Birth of a weak calves. Birth of a undersized calves. And birth of a congenitally deformed calves. So this transplacental infection causes these problems in the calves. The virus replicates in all fetal tissues and the extent of damage is more in actively dividing cells. Virus affects the nervous system of the fetus and birth of the fetus will be with defects, cerebellar hypo hypoplasia, dysplasia, there is cavity formation into the cerebrum, there is retinal detachment or retinal displacement of the eye. These are the defect in the calves. Continue here, infection of the susceptible pregnant cattle. A second situation. In this we will study immunological competence of the fetus. It is an important phenomena here. Now the mucosal disease starts. If there is infection in early fetal life, early fetal life, then after birth, there is a persistent viral infection in many tissues and organ of the calf. And the calf remained infected for the whole life. Very dangerous. If fetus gets infection early in the life, the born calf will be with persistent viral infection. And the word of persistent means the infection remained for the whole life. And these cows are very dangerous. These cows excrete the virus in large quantity and transmit the virus to all susceptible healthy animals. And there is high probability and development of mucosal disease.
we have studied the first situation post natal infection in non pregnant cattle second situation infection in pregnant cattle now the third situation persistent infection in cows and mucosal disease in that situation is persistently infected cattle in susceptible healthy herd in which a newly virus infected animal is introduced high proportion of the cows in the next calving season become persistently infected a newly infected animal introduced into the herd that propagate the infection and in the next calving high proportion of the cows with persistent infected will be produced in that farm mortality rate exceeds 50% in b in bvd we have seen in bvd we have seen the mortality is less very less here the mortality is 50% in 6 to 8 month of age and the animal manifest most classical manifestation of mucosal disease this is the mucosal disease and this mucosal disease is characterized by high fever anorexia profuse watery diarrhea dehydration great emaciation losing body condition nasal discharge clinical manifestation clinical can see buccal ulceration ulceration and erosion in the mouth stomatitis and related stomatitis symptoms and sometimes lameness death is within few days to 3 weeks friends i have explained bbd and md in a simplest language requested to share this information to other veterinarian and veterinary students to promote the channel requested to subscribe this channel thank you very much for observing this video next time i will come with bbd md part 3 thanks